What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit special. It's not different because it's about credit cards, but I wanted to talk about the 12 possible reasons why your credit card application was denied. And before I start, make sure you hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. Hit the like button um, only once, because if you hit it twice, you're just gonna take out the like. So hit it. Um, also, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And um, I do a giveaway every single week. I give away two Amazon gift cards. So if you want to know about that giveaway, make sure you stick around to the end of the video and you'll hear all about that giveaway. Now, um, why did I want to talk about this? Why did I want to talk about 12 possible reasons why your credit card application was denied? Um, just because uh, there are a lot of people that want to know why they get denied for credit cards. Now, if it's in the case of, you know, Chase, you might know why you get, you know, denied. It might be because of 524. It might be because you did something else or you have an authorized user on some other accounts. And it's not just because you have cards open, it's because you are an authorized user or something like that. So, um, nevertheless, um, you're credit card application got denied and I wanted to go through the 12 possible reasons why it could have gotten denied. Now, I mean, there could be other ones as well, but these are probably the most common. So let's go ahead and get into it and not waste any more time. So the first reason that your credit card application could have been denied is because your loan balances are too high. Um, if you have high loan balances, that's uh, a very easy sign for credit card issuers to say, nope. Um, your credit card balances are way too high. If your credit card utilization is, you know, I don't know, 50% or 60% or 70%, you're going to get denied for a credit card. It, it's just not, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make sense to me because it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me why you would apply for another credit card if you do have high loan balances. So that's absolutely absurd. But that's one reason why your application was denied. Another reason is actually your credit card balances are too high. So we kind of talked about loan balances and then credit card balances. So both of those, if those are too high, you're going to get denied for those cards. Um, whatever card you apply for, you're going to get denied for it. So just make sure your credit card utilization is low. Make sure you don't have crazy high loan balances. Um, basically saying like your debt to income ratio is out of whack. Don't let that happen. Make sure you're in line and you'll be fine. And I didn't mean to rhyme there, but I did. Another reason is there are too many inquiries on your account. This is something that you know I kind of dealt with at one time. I got denied a couple of times. I won't, I'll admit it. I got denied for credit cards. Just because you're a person that talks about credit cards on YouTube and personal finance doesn't mean you can't get denied for a credit card. So I did get denied for a credit card. And um, the main reason was because I had too many inquiries. And that's something I I I don't take pride in, but I do take pride in because I like to apply for credit cards. I like to get new credit cards. And sometimes I reach my limit and they're like, oh, you know what? You get denied. So too many inquiries um, or inquiries can really mess up your you know, situation there and deny you. They will deny you for a credit card. Um, another reason is that your income is too low. Um, if you don't have enough income, why are you applying for credit cards? Like say students, when you're a student, you, you don't really have a lot of income. Sometimes, you know, you're a workaholic like me. I worked as much as possible throughout college, ask my wife. So knowing that, you know, you have low income, it doesn't make sense for you to apply for a card and basically tell them that you have, you know, $1,000 in, um, annual income because you're not working. Um, they're not going to approve you. They're not because you can't pay off the balance. If you have no income, you can't pay off the balance. It's as simple as that. Um, another reason, number five, would be that you have too many credit cards. Um, this is something that could be um, my situation. I have 21 credit cards, but I've never been denied because I have too many credit cards. But you can be denied if you have too many credit cards. In the case of um, Amex, I was denied the bonus because I had too many Amex cards, even though I only had one. So that was just a mistake. But if you have too many Amex cards open, I guess you can get denied for um, an Amex card. So make sure you're aware of that. And I, I don't see anything in writing really, but it can happen. So if you get denied and you have a high credit score, you have your credit utilization low, you don't have any loans out, your income is high, all this other stuff, and you get denied, that's probably the reason. So the next one, number six, is that you have a recent collection. This is 
horrible. If you have any type of like real collection, now if you paid off that collection or anything like that, you could get denied for a credit card um, just because you had it on your record. And that's something that you need to look out for. Um, there's a lot of things that you can get denied for. Now, depends what type of card you're applying for. Lower tier cards will probably not deny you if you just had it on your record and you paid it off. They probably won't deny you. Your credit score will go up. But, you know, upper tier cards, you know, might. So be on the lookout for that. Um, another one is delinquency. If you had a delinquency that was too recent, so um, just don't do that. Like for me, I know I had medical bills when I was um, a kid. So for me, I actually had medical bills right out of high school, you know, dealing with some football injuries and stuff like that. And um, didn't really have the money to pay anything like that. Now I obviously do, but then I didn't. So things went into more of a collection state and I had to get that expunged in some way. Um, so that was really, really tough for me. But if you have any delinquencies, then you know that you'll get, you know, denied for a credit card. Another one is that you have a charge off on your credit report. Now, I didn't actually know what a charge off was because I never really got to this point, I guess I kind of did, but whatever. Um, but a charge off is a credit card balance that went unpaid for six months or more. Um, so that's absolutely horrible. So look out for those, but that could be a reason that you got denied. Another reason is that you have a thin file or limited credit history. So if you're a student, most likely you're going to get denied because of the fact that, you know, you have no credit history. Um, now, if your parents did the smart thing and got you a secured card right out of high school, made sure that you knew how to use that. And then out of college, you can basically say, you know, I have a credit history. I have 700 credit score. I have a 750 credit score. Then, you know, you're going to be set. But my parents didn't do that. Um, my parents didn't know about that. So I had to learn about all that stuff myself. So, but if you have a thin file, it's just not going to help you out at all. So make sure that you understand what your file looks like. And if you have a thin file, get a secured credit card that helps you out in the long run. Another reason which is very simple is that, you know, you're not old enough to get a credit card. If you're, you know, way too young, then you're not old enough and that's just not going to help you out. Now, um, I don't want to say that you physically can't do anything you want to do, but if you're not old enough, if you want to really improve your life, if you're like a, a 14 year old kid and you want to improve your life, then, you know, it, I mean, I understand what you're trying to go through and you're trying to improve your credit score, trying to do all this stuff so that you can um, have a better life after after high school or, or when you get into college, things like that. But if you're too young, you can't get a credit card. 11 is that you didn't complete the application. Some people will go uh, through the application and not know what some things mean and enter zero when it could be important or you know they just won't complete the full look of things. They won't basically say that they have a job or they'll say they have a job, don't fill out the information for the job, things like that. So you'll get denied for um, a credit card. Some won't even let you finish the application. So um, that's kind of like, I don't know, it could be a reason or it could not be a reason, but most likely it's not going to be a reason because a lot of um, issuers require you to fill out every area that's important. So you can't really move on if you don't do it that way. Now, in the past, that could be a thing because everything was done by paper, but not really now, they require you to do a lot of stuff. And number 12 is that you haven't been in your job long enough. Now this, um, I see it apply at credit unions because a lot of times they ask you about that, um, but it, you don't really see it that much because they don't really ask you about all that stuff. Yes, you can say, oh, I've been at, you know, I work here and I make this much. Um, a lot of people lie about that stuff and they don't have to improve, they don't have to prove that they work there. So it's only for certain credit card applications, but not for the, the main ones that you think about, like Amex and Chase and uh, US Bank and Citi and all these other ones. But it can happen, so be on the lookout for that. But um, that's my breakdown, 12 reasons why you could get denied. Let me know if you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. That's one way to show me. Hit that like button. Also comment down below, let me know what you think. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel. You want to make sure you subscribe to uh, this one. I'm going to put it up on the screen. And then you go ahead and subscribe to this one. So you subscribe to both of those and you are entered in my giveaway. So I give away two Amazon gift cards every single week. You subscribe to both of those. You have one ticket in the hat.
but if you want multiple tickets, then just comment on as many videos as you can and you'll get one ticket for each comment. Seven is the max. But that's my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.